Okay, grade nine, so I'd like to give you some tips on doing the second part of 4.7.2. In other words, you've just done 4.7.1. We're going to use these numbers that we see at the top here. So first question is around your gross profit. I don't know if you can remember what the calculation is for your gross profit. I'm just going to move it over a bit. So for your gross profit, you would need your sales and your cost of sales. So sales was the income and cost of sales was the expense. Remember, we have now got two lines for one transaction. The first line is for the selling price and the second line is for the cost price and trading stock. So the difference between these two numbers would be how much money you're making. And if you wanna know how much money you're making, you refer to it as your gross profit. The same for the one that you bought on credit. The income was 3,000 and the cost for you was 2,100. So if you say three minus two, 100, you can work out how much money you made. And then you just combine those two transactions. The second part of the question asks you about how much stock do you have on hand? Now, because there was a separate column just for trading stock, and you had to put your pluses and minus in front of them. You could easily just go from the top to the bottom and see um, how much you have got left. So you started with 20, then you bought another 15. That puts you on 35. But then you went on the 5th and the 11th, you've sold stock. Now remember, these two are your cost price. Trading stock is always calculated at the cost price. So mine is those two, and you will know the value of your stock. For debtors, also you can use this table, quite easy. On the 11th, the debtors bought something. You know, the 31st, they came back and they paid you. So that will be minus. And that will give you the total that that person owes you for the month.